Hey, coffee and tools, guys, we're back. Uh, I bought a house. Uh, it's it's not a new house, but it's a used house. But I bought it as is. And when you buy a house as is, you sort of take on the responsibility of, hey, whatever's wrong, your problem. And I've got lots of problems, but I'm. it's a challenge, right? Welcome back to Coffee and Tools and my new house. Uh, today I'm doing, let's see if you can see that, yeah, electrical wiring. <laughs> been running into a nightmare. Uh, let me see if I can show this to you. I got this apart because uh, as I was troubleshooting, the whole back porch area is off and there's no line, there's no, there's wiring back here, but you know, no power. I turned every switch on in the house I could find, nothing. So finally found an outlet here that was on but everything else past it was off, so I'm like, okay, that's where the break is. Uh, generally, at least that's you know easy troubleshooting. So I took the plug that was a, an outside type wall plug, and it was installed uh, in its day, probably correctly, but somebody went back in there and sort of uh, really half-ass messed it up bad. And I'll show you what uh, people do this, and they're a cheap type of outfit. I don't believe in doing this. I will not do it, uh, but I keep running into this. This is uh, the back of uh, an outlet, and it's a cheap one. This is like a 98 cent outlet from like Lowe's or Home Depot or whoever. But the, if you look at the back of it, you'll see the copper wire where I cut it off. It was the type where you push it in and it spring clips. If it gets a little hot, the spring gets weak, it starts to arc, it gets bad. And if you look real closely at this one right about there, you can see the burn where it started to actually melt down melted the wiring back on the neutral side and started to burn everything up uh, here the house should have burnt down technically you know it didn't lucky the owner at the time whoever it was and like i said this is as is so my problem now now here is a brand new one this one's a little more expensive this one's about three dollars but the difference is you'll notice there's no push in pins on the back of this thing and there's there's clamp style under the screws so you put your wires up in there and clamp it down you get a good call solid connection this gets worse but so yeah wait for it huh? more coming hmm. the wiring itself is white uh, that shouldn't be white it is white so let me show you what it should look like it should look like you see this gray stuff it should look like that this is outside or outdoor wiring it's bar direct burial uh, and it's it's rated for you know outside for weather and what have you doesn't mean you leave it out in the rain but uh, and here I'll go down here to this outside porch area here and here's some of the old wiring right here and if you can take a good look at it uh, it's yeah yeah see that it's white it's not supposed to be white <laughs> white is inside Romex wiring for inside the home not outside you don't do it outside so let's take a let's take a gander at the box here and uh, I'll show you the troubleshooting started down at that end uh, I had no power so that was like okay we got to start there and you know work our way back as I worked my way to a switch there was no power again and then I did a jump to ground when I jumped to ground I had power so I knew right away okay the neutral is broken and I knew at that point just from experience and with this type of uh, wiring I was like what do you bet the homeowner or somebody used the push-in uh, lock for the wire instead of the screws and it got hot broke the neutral and we lost the whole works back here and they probably thought oh man we've lost the wiring back here oh what do we do so anyways that's that's what goes wrong and in this case here they also had back here I don't know why but he had a switch located back here and the switch is useless it, it it turned the power on and off, you lazy bones. If you go inside the house, there was a switch on the wall, you flip it and it would shut everything off out here. So I'm gonna do away with almost everything he's got out here. I'm gonna actually pull a proper uh, a piece of wire from that box into this area and put proper boxes up. And I'll tell you, I'm just gonna keep finding stuff because I found 10 things wrong today that were like, oh my God, you know. So the house as is if you you save a lot of money but 
you better be prepared for lots of aggravation because you're going to run into stuff that's like, you got to be kidding me. And you're going to keep running into it over and over again. And you're going to say, what the heck was a homeowner doing? Or, or who did he hire to you know, do this little job? Well, this is the sort of thing I'm running into and I'm getting lots of it. So uh, Coffee and Tools right now, we're going to be covering a lot of this kind of craziness. But uh, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to try to pull it. Now, because it's a blue box, let's see if I can show you that. Yeah. I don't know, see that up there? Yeah. It's one of those blue plastic boxes and it's sort of like a valve. The wire can come forward, but it shouldn't it shouldn't really want to go back. It, it's sort of like supposed to stop, you know, from pulling back. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm actually gonna cut this wire back here short and pull into the box with a piece of wire and I'll use some tape, tape the two Romex uh, lines together and pull it and we'll see what we got. I, I, I should be able to at least pull a new wire. Once I get the new line in, I'm gonna bring the new line in and I'm gonna bring it across the ceiling over here. And of course we're gonna be putting, uh, I'll put ceiling fans up here and run through to there and then stop. Any other wiring that this, uh, that had, that was going on here is gonna be cut loose. I'm gonna. Uh, if I'm gonna run a line out here, I'm gonna run it heavy. That was a number 14 uh, gauge wire, which is one of your lightest home wirings you're gonna run into for 110 stuff anyways. So what will happen in the uh, future if I decide, and I, I probably I will be picking up uh, another line to bring it out here, but it'll be heavy. It'll be like uh, number 10 wiring, 30 amp, breakered. It'll run through to a breaker box. It'll split it down and it'll be in like a, over here. Uh, let's see if I can show you that. Yeah, over here. There's a little workshed thing. I'm gonna knock that down, put up a little metal building. Uh, we're gonna get into a new carport. I'm gonna rip all this out and redo it down the road. <sighs> right now, I'm just trying to get the basic stuff done. And as I said, this switch now, when it activates inside the dining room to the porch, when you come out of the porch, be able to hit the switch and turn just two ceiling fans with some lights on out here and that's it. You don't, you know, if I needed anything more than that, uh, I would probably run a new line from the breaker panel out here, but can get into all that later. I've got another funny to show you later on in another video, I guess. But right now, this is just, I just wanted to catch you guys up with, this is what Coffee and Tools is into this week. And believe me, I have been into, I've changed port parts on toilets, we've been doing plumbing, been ripping stuff uh, on and off walls. Uh, taking doors down, repairing stuff. It's been absolutely horrendous and I've been at it uh, for a month. So I've had a lot going on. I didn't videotape it most of it because it was so disgusting. It was like, I don't even want to videotape it. It's like, it's that bad, you know. But uh, Coffee and Tool guys, hey, we are going to uh, be working on uh, this today. So uh, I'm gonna change out the switch as I showed you. Uh, we'll be putting a, I'll be putting a brand new one of these babies in. In fact, this is probably a heavy duty unit like this right here. Good for 20 amp, by the way, but the wiring's only good for 15 that's coming into this. And I've only got two ceiling fans and I'm gonna call it quits, that's it. I'm not gonna put more load on it. If I was gonna put more load, I'd bring another wire right from the frickin' panel out here. I wouldn't do what these clowns did. But uh, also have a, uh, I've got, uh, got to get rid of that switch. I'm gonna do away with it. And I've got a nice, uh, not too bad, it's a uh, little rusty, but it still works. This is a, a good weatherized box, so that's fine. It helps keep the weather out of the uh, outlet. But for homeowners, uh, if you see these 98 cent at Lowe's or Home Depot or wherever you go for electrical supplies, and you see these little back ones where it's quit, you, you strip a three quarter inch piece of the copper wire off and shove it in, I would not do it, ever. <laughs> Never, just don't do it, you know. Use the screws and get a good tight connection under those screws at all times. This is gonna keep you guys safe, you know, so your house doesn't burn down, you know. Uh, I have seen this all my life, so this is this is not new. I don't know why the industry is allowed to do it. For some reason, uh, the uh, underwriters up there in Chicago, they need to, I don't know. Somebody needs to stop this, but it, it won't be me. Okay, hey, thanks for watching Coffee and Tools. Uh, when I come back, it's gonna be another it's going to be another jackpot. All right, over and out.